Hello, peoples! It's another very warm day here in Arizona. It's uh, in the low 80s, and it's a little toasty here in the van because I forgot to close that curtain behind me last night after I went shopping. And when I leave that thing open and the sun starts beating in, man, it gets toasty in here. But uh, I got the fantastic fan rocking right now. What I'm doing today, um, I got my solar stuff in. That's to be the next big project. I don't know if I can really film the, film the roof panel install, but I'll try to record the, uh, the rest of the stuff here. Um, what I'm doing today is, let me show you what broke and, what, and how I'm fixing it. So this is a common failure in these rear windows, this little um, pot metal arm that when you when you twist this, it goes in and out. Well, you can see it kind of stops. <laughs> it stops dead when it gets to there, uh, which means it doesn't pull the window closed. Now I've already removed the window because uh, it literally takes seconds to take that window out. It's kind of scary how fast the window comes out, but I'll, I'll uh, figure I'll show you on this side exactly how to do this. So first what you need to do is remove the screen. I need to pull the screen on on this side anyway. I'm, I'm replacing both sides, by the way, just because it's, uh, if I'm gonna do one side, I may as well do the other. It took two weeks from eBay to get these parts. I'm going to leave, not negative feedback, but I'm gonna mention that uh, shipping's a little slow. It's only coming from Florida, people. It shouldn't take two weeks. This is 2017. Anyway, um, you see these little cotter pins. So you actually just use a screwdriver and you stick it right in the notch and you just pull it right out. And there's one on each side. And once you do that, um, you just push, push those little pins through or push those little pins out, outward. And then the window is free to move up and down. It's no longer attached to the bars. Those two bars are the only thing that's holding the window. Um, and then let me show you outside. The window sits in that little crease. So the screw there, there's a little crease that the window rides in. So you basically you just lift the window up and it pops right out. One of the things I'm doing is this molding on the window is 22 years old, right? So what I did was I used some of this turtle wax label and sticker, sticker removal. It's uh, pretty stinky stuff. But it does pretty, pretty good at getting rid of the gummy, uh, leftover, st sticky stuff on uh, like adhesives and stuff. So what I did was uh, there used to be a strip of fuzzy. You can see that pretty clearly now. There was a strip of fuzzy insulation that went all the way around. That just flaked right off. It literally just fell off in my hand. So I just... I pull the rest of it off. Let me show you what it looks like. It's this stuff right here. It's it's literally it's literally crap. It's literally just falling apart. So I'm gonna use some uh, so this other stuff that I got. It's really cheap, but it should work. I actually used it to seal my inside of my fan, which I should show that to you guys. So I'm gonna put a bead of that all the way around. And that will seal it nice and tight when I close the window. Now, how that's going to work in the long term, I don't know. But it's a cheap fix. I'm going to do it to both windows. I'm going to replace the crank on both windows. So I'm going to go ahead and get to that. I need to slide my... Oh, I got my new mattress in too. I'll have to show that to you guys. I, I got a lot of new stuff I haven't filmed. Um, and you know I keep saying film and mean to say record. It shows you my age. So basically to pull this out, it's pretty easy. You just take those screws out. There's uh, four screws, or three or four screws, I forget. I can't really see up at the top. Um, you just take those screws out, and then this bar lifts out. The whole bar comes out all the way across, and then you can replace the, that part. And I replaced it with these. And I got one for the left side, and I got one for the right side. I got these on eBay, and uh, they're, pro they're uh, 
see if I can get a better angle here. The brand name is Primeline. And what's important is the part numbers. You want to make sure you get the right part numbers. Now for this particular one, for the right side, it's R7023. And for the left side, it's R7022. So you see right there it says RV window left hand. This one doesn't say right hand, but it's assumed right hand. So uh, I got one for each side. They're not something you can rebuild. You can see they're riveted together. So uh, even if you could get the get the thing apart to try to repair the whatever is broken internally, uh, you'd have to epoxy it back together. You know, it just wasn't worth the hassle. These were about 20 bucks a piece. A little bit expensive, in my opinion, for crappy cheap pot metal. These things probably cost a dollar a make at most. I mean, they're. I can just tell from the way this one is, just how cheap and chintzy it is. It's like. I'm surprised it lasts 20 years, because really, uh, I, I, you have to really crank these down to get them to seal. And um, that's another reason why I wanted to pay, replace the sealant, so I wouldn't have to crank them down so hard to get them to seal, because otherwise the wind just comes right through. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the seal on both sides, replace the winder on those sides, and uh, I'll fill a little bit of, of it as I go along. Um, it's kind of hard to work and do it. I don't really... I can't really set up a tripod in any easy way to, to catch this, but it's literally just taking screws out and uh, lifting it out. It's really simple. It's a, it's a pretty easy job. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show you the final product or the next step. Okay, so here's the window piece out of the window. And uh, I'll just show you real easy. By the bang. <laughs> so uh, that's the part. I'll just take this little wheel off, put the new one on, put the thing back in. It takes a whole five minutes, although I had a screw that was going to strip out, so it's a little longer. Then I'll get busy on the other side. Okay, do you notice a problem here? The top one is the old one, the bottom one's the new one. Take a look at the holes. It's not the correct fucking part. The people online with a 1995 road truck who said they replaced these with the exact part number lied. Those are the holes. You think I'm gonna set this shit back? Fuck no. I'm gonna drill some new holes. More than a five minute fix, it seems. All right, well, I've run into a yet another problem with this part. It is not at all the right part. See how long that flange comes out? <laughs> Can't get this thing back in the window. Uh, my options are kind of limited. This does, if you look in here, this does have a, a key all the way down. So if I wanted to get really brave, I could try to trim this, trim this down. My second option would be to cut the slot deeper. Um, if I cut this slot deeper, the problem is, is this bar might slide this way too far. And you see how these are clipped on. Um, I could probably bend them a little bit. We're, we're talking about quarter of an inch. I think, you know, probably the safe bet would be to just cut this, like the jigsaw, and just slice down this a little bit so that this can slide down further. Uh, that I'll just use, you know, that's what those, that's what those pins are in there are for to hold it in. And if it's just a little bit of an angle on one of them, it's just going to be on one side. So, um, that would allow me to use this other part, which doesn't match at all. The backs are different. The holes are different. Yeah, shame on you. Um. I'm not going to say which website it is, but it has to, it's the only website on the internet with a 1995 road trek. Um, and they specifically mention these model, model numbers and said exactly where to buy these. And so I use the same model numbers and I found them on eBay. And uh, yeah, definitely not a one to one fit. I'll definitely have to do some modifications. Now the drilling is not a big deal, it's in metal. 
I'll just draw a, a drill, you know, a pair of matching holes on each side. That's no big deal. I already got the bit ready to go. You know, it would make a lot more sense to just cut this down. It's, it's cheap metal. It's not like the jigsaw couldn't go through it. But um, that's a one-time thing. If, if for whatever reason it fucks up, that part's shot. Whereas if I put this, uh, just cut this notch a little deeper, I can always shove crap behind it to uh, undo the cut. So I, I think I'll just, I'll try to do the cut and see how it works out. So, yep, extended uh, window stuff. It's always something, man. I can't just put a part in and have it work. Gotta modify it. All right, back to work. Okay, uh, what I did was I cut a 7 8 uh, inch. So, 7 8 inch slot. You know, this side is probably a half inch or so. But this side is 7 8 and it seems to work just fine. All the way down to the end, and then it slips into the window just fine. So, I will demonstrate one handed that. Uh, so it sits right up in there and then this side fits right in the window and then goes up you just have to put that little piece on the end so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and drill those new holes use the two screws that came with the kit and i did determine that the winder thing is not going to go out as far as the oem like it's probably going to be about a about a half inch less window opening which that's no big deal. It opens like about four inches as it is. So if it opens three and a half inches, I don't really care. That's good to know. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and drill those holes and get this done. It's already five o'clock. So. Well, there she is. She's in. Cranks perfectly. It's not going to go out exactly as far as it used to. Uh, you know, in comparison, this is the OEM. Gonna be pretty close it's probably gonna be something like that or maybe like you know because look that's about the angle of the bar now it's about the same it's not gonna be that much of a difference so yep that should do definitely gonna seal a lot better so i'm gonna take this stuff the cord weather strip so i just got some of this it was like four bucks for the whole box and i've used it for all kinds of stuff like sealing those little holes you can see up in there, there's a flap. I'm not gonna take the fan blade back out for you, but there's that brown nasty looking thing. That's a flap. And if you could see, uh, that gray stuff is this weather sealant. And what I did is I put it all the way around that flap so that it seals not airtight you don't want it to be airtight you want it to be so that you're not going to actually feel because what i was doing was i was standing right here and i was feeling a breeze come in and i'm like what the hell there's there should be no breeze coming in and uh i realize up in here is like the little damper thing right so i just pull this out that uh opens up you can see you can see sunlight in there when i open it up so that's that's when it's open and so when you turn the fan on, you can see the flap open. And then it seals. You can probably see that. I also replaced this light with an LED. It just happens to be the same light um, that you use for, for these. So it's the same LED. So if you wind up doing the same thing I do, and LEDing out your your road track. Remember, you're gonna need two for the front and then one for here. And I just replaced it because it was really it was really it's really nasty and ugly. So and I cleaned all this out, ran all this through the dishwasher, try to get 20 years of scum off of it. You know, I cleaned the blades and everything, cleaned the flap, sealed it up so that there's not gonna be like wind coming in here. And then when you're driving, you just push this little lever in. And that doesn't really lock the flap down, but it keeps it from opening too far and flapping up and down while you're driving. So 
that was the other mod I wanted to show you real quick that uh, use the weather stripping because it's actually now I use a different kind of weather stripping on the doors here to keep them from making noise see it nice and solid I mean I can rock that back and forth and you hear nothing and since it's been on here for a couple of weeks now you can just slam the door you know it's nice and solid it feels you know a lot more expensive now because it doesn't have all the rattles and when I'm driving it's way quieter way quieter so all right, I'm going to try to get this other window done before it gets too dark. All right, the pitch is done. I got it all sealed up. I spent some extra time because there is a huge gap. I don't know if you can tell, but the window actually looks slightly bent. Like years of over torquing it has caused the frame to bend. And I'm too much of a, of a puss to try to bend it back. So basically I just compensated by adding some extra clay stuff at the bottom bottom corner that was leaky so let's close it up closes perfectly torque it down and you can't see any light through there at all uh, what I did is I put the clay on one side and a little WD-40 on the frame so it wouldn't stick because that was the key it sticks for a, for a split second but that's okay it's done and it, and it seals beautifully now that hole's supposed to be there to let the water drain out I see all this nasty tape shit. Now the idiot before me used duct tape. And of course duct tape's gonna leave that residue on the window. I have to use my gummy cleaner stuff to try to soak that out. When I bought the van, I first started opening and closing the window. It worked fine. And then I realized, <clears throat> I noticed the screws that, that the guys were using, which I took out, were not OEM. They were just like drywall screws that they used to Obviously, take this out and put it back in a bunch of times, you know, trying to re remedial fix it. Instead of replacing the part, you know, they just tried to do something to get the window to work. And, uh, you know, me, I don't like to take shortcuts. So I'm going to call it a night and I'll pick this up tomorrow when I do the other window. Till then. Hey, thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe, share, and like. And we'll see you guys next time. Say hi, Ernie.